Hey guys, welcome back to Technologic. In this video, we'll be taking a look at the Aftershock Trixel PC and some other Aftershock accessories. Let's go. Firstly, let's look at the PC itself. As you can already see, there's RGB absolutely everywhere. The RAM, AIO cooler, fans, RGB strips, graphics card, the case, and even the cables. All of them have RGB. And all of them can be controlled using different apps that come with the PC. This is peak RGB for any gaming PC. It is truly RGB overload and that's a good thing, especially if you're into aesthetics. The case used here is the Inwin 309 tower. This case is massive. For reference, its dimensions are 50 cm by 24 cm by 55 cm and is over 13 kg by itself. Here's a size comparison to a 10.1 inch iPad Air. Moving on, the front panel here has 224 individual LEDs that can be controlled or you can use one of the many presets that are available with the case. It looks super cool on camera and even cooler in real life. Next, let's look at the airflow of the case. Fresh air passively enters from the bottom. This is made possible by the tall feet of the case. Then, the air flows through the graphics card and finally escapes out of the back of the case via this fan and these fans here through the radiator and out of the right side of the case. Next, let's look at the specs. As my unit here is a review unit, it is an older RTX 2080 Super graphics card from Zotac Gaming. For the processor, we have an Intel Core i9-10900K processor with 10 cores. This exact configuration may not be available now, but you can configure it with the new RTX 3000 series graphics cards and the new Ryzen 5000 series CPUs. I will leave the link to the Aftershock website in the description below. You can check out the available configurations there. Moving on, we have 16GB of Corsair Vengeance RGB Pro RAM and a 512GB NVMe SSD. You can additionally add two hard drives on the configuration page too. For the motherboard, we have an ASUS ROG Maximus 7 Formula Z490 motherboard. As you can see here, there's an OLED display that displays the CPU temperature. Next, let's look at some of the games and benchmarks. You can expect even better GPU performance with the RTX 3000 series graphics cards. Firstly, we have GTA 5. I cranked up all the settings to maximum and ran the benchmark. At 1440p, I could consistently hit above 100 FPS. The game looks so good at this setting and the gameplay was smooth. Next, we have Minecraft. Not just any Minecraft, but Minecraft with an intensive shader with volumetric lighting. I will leave the link to the shader used in the description below. With the shaders on, Optifine, render distance to 24 chunks and fancy graphics, I could consistently hit the 75Hz monitor refresh rate at 1440p with VSync. Without VSync, I could easily hit above 140 FPS. This is insane performance for Minecraft with intensive shaders. Next, we have Fortnite. With max settings and ray tracing turned on, I could consistently hit the 75Hz screen refresh rate at 1440p with or without VSync. Gameplay was smooth and immersive. Next, we have Cinebench R20. The Intel i9-10900K or an insanely high score of over 6000 on this CPU benchmark. This is great performance for a 10 core processor. Next up, we have Nova Bench. I got a good score of over 4200 on this benchmark, which is great for a gaming PC. Finally, we have the public beta of DaVinci Resolve 17. For this test, I rendered my video of the Samsung Galaxy Note 20 Ultra, my laptop with an Intel i7 10875H and an RTX 2060 took 3 minutes and 37 seconds, while the Trixel did it in just 2 minutes and 37 seconds. That is an impressive render time. The CPU and GPU stayed cool during all these tests due to good airflow and an amazing radiator for the CPU. Temperatures were maxing out at about 61 degrees Celsius during intensive tasks for the CPU. Overall, the Aftershock Trixel is a stunning gaming PC 
and you can configure it with almost any latest specs available. Next, we have the Prism Plus display. I am not sure which model this is, but it is a 75Hz 1440p IPS panel with accurate colors and wide viewing angles. Overall, it is a good display. Prism Plus is part of Aftershock PC and they offer a wide variety of displays. I will leave some links in the description below. Finally, we have the Aftershock Odin mechanical keyboard. I have the linear red switches here, but it is also available in blue and brown switches. It has perky RGB and is great to type on. I will leave the link to this keyboard if you are interested. I had a really fun time reviewing this PC and playing games on it. Huge thanks to Aftershock PC for lending me this demo unit. I hope you liked this video, be sure to like and subscribe. I have more videos coming out soon, so stay tuned for that. Bye!